Servus and welcome to Flo's German Kitchen. I'm Flo, this is my kitchen and I show you how to cook the German way. Today we're making Fleischsalat, meat salad. It sounds like it's made of meat, but actually just like Wurstsalat, it is made of Bologna sausage. So what is the difference between Fleischsalat and Wurstsalat? Well, it's easy. Wurstsalat is really used like salad. You put it on a plate, you eat it with a fork, that's it. Fleischsalat is more used like a spread that you could put on a piece of bread for dinner, for breakfast or any time of the day. In Germany you can just buy Fleischsalat in a pack like this, but there are reasons why I prefer to make my own. One reason is the cut. This is usually cut pretty rough and I like really fine stripes of sausage. The other reason is the ratio of sausage to sauce. This is just very saucy because it's probably cheaper than the sausage. So I like a different ratio. That's why I make my own one. What do we need for that? You can see the table is pretty empty. All we need is some Bologna sausage, pickles, some mayonnaise, salt, pepper and of course a good guzzle of German beer. No, 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 no. It's not that easy. Some people would tell you that's all, but I want to replace this with my own homemade mayonnaise and there is reasons for that. Since I want to change the ratio of mayonnaise to sausage, I need a mayonnaise that's got a more intense flavor and also as I use it as a spread I don't want the salad to be too saucy and as the pickles always release quite a lot of water when they're in the salad I need a really really stiff mayonnaise so more intense flavor and a more stiff consistency are the reasons why I'm making my own. Let's put that away. For the mayo we need a couple of things more. We start with some neutral vegetable oil, a little mustard, of course an egg, a little vinegar, what else? A lemon and of course a good guzzle of German beer. Wunderbar. So let's start. First thing is we break the egg and making your own mayo you will find recipes that tell you to only use the yolks but I don't want to throw away things so I'll take the whole egg it works fine. Next thing is squeeze out half a lemon. I squeeze it over my hands so that I don't get the kernels in the mayo. Don't press it fully. It might get a bit too sour if you take a complete half lemon. Salt. And as I said, I want an intense flavor, so I take quite a lot of it. And as I do love pepper, I take a lot of pepper. Next thing is some mustard. Maybe half a tablespoon, a teaspoon, not tablespoon, half a teaspoon. little vinegar, not so much. So I mix this first and then I start adding the oil. An important thing to get a good emulsion uh, at the mayo is that the egg and the oil and all the other ingredients have the same temperature, ideally room temperature. So I took the egg out of the ref quite some time ago before I started. Next important thing is that you are really slow with pouring the oil. Just add a little in a very, very thin stream and then you start 
mixing it, pull it up and down. You can already see it's getting creamy, but we want it really stiff, so I continue pouring oil. This is not bad, but it can take some more. Mm, great. We got the mayo. The other thing I mentioned about the flesh salad you can buy in the store is the cut. So I really want fine stripes. That's why I'm just taking some time to cut the sausage and really get those like, like <laughs> let's say, uh, bologna julienne. <laughs> Don't want the stripes to be too long. That's for me. And again. Next thing, the pickles. Some people dice it. I also like fine stripes for that. And now there is one thing, even if you like the taste of pickles as much as I do, just resist the temptation to put too many pickles in the salad because as I said, that really, yeah, uh, releases a lot of liquid and it gets the salad too saucy. That should be enough for now. If it lacks, I can add something later. And here comes the mayo. Let's see if that is enough already. No, I can take some more. I think we got it. Mm. This is great. And it's not too saucy. So let me just decorate that on a plate and then we'll try it. Here we got it, the wonderful Fleisch Salat, nicely decorated with pickles, with a tomato and wonderful parsley and guess where I got that from it is still from Mr. Survivor dude my wonderful everlasting parsley bush and now I can't wait to have it on a slice of bread mm. This is just wunderbar. If you like this video, tell your friends about my channel, hit subscribe button, leave me a comment and just celebrate German cuisine. Cheers on German cuisine, cheers on Fleischsalat. Ah, wunderbar.